I'm a programmer at heart. I uh, do consulting, training, mentoring. I focus on language-based training, so I help developers get comfortable with programming languages. I also do quite a bit of uh, test-driven development, test automation training, software uh, practices, what I like to call a sustainable agile development, and I do that around the world. I'm also a faculty at University of Houston. I'm one of those guys on the other side of the picket line constantly complaining that Java sucks. And for me to be here to praise uh, Java, and I truly believe that it deserves every single of that praise, I'm a total convert uh, from going from, hey, Java is great to Java sucks to, wow, look at this, Java is amazing. And I can truly attest to that. And, and part of the reason is, if you look back in history of programming languages, languages tend to live for about 10 years. Oh, well, sure, languages live longer, like we say, like Elvis lives forever. Uh, COBOL, people still are using it, C++ of course, but mostly you have prime time of 10 years. But Java is way past that prime time. And, and there are several reasons that uh, make it happen. The first and foremost is the ecosystem. The Java virtual machine is just amazing as a platform. It is insane that we got excited about Java in the beginning for its applets. And you know, it's kind of funny to even share that history with people to say this is what we thought it would be. But the real strength of Java is on the server side. And server demands are very high. Uh, very high concurrency, very high stability, very high performance. And Java has stood its time for all of those as an ecosystem. The second reason I would say is the phenomenal community, the open source community. Uh, I travel around the world and uh, I, I can tell you it just feels at home. It doesn't matter what country I go to. And that's because there is a passionate Java developer out there. The world is, is the home now with, with the Java truly has united the world, and, and we cannot just underestimate that. It's just phenomenal. So the community is just amazing. And third reason is, I always say that Java was on deathbed when it was in Java 7 timeframe, because there were other languages. Uh, there are 200 plus languages on the JVM today, and a lot of them have went on to provide really good functional style of programming and other capabilities. And Java as a language was very stagnant, but Java 8 really made a difference. All of a sudden you see this language which was on the de deathbed, suddenly jogging and having a good time out there, which is really phenomenal. But not only did Java 8 do that, Java 9 has shown how the language can be vibrant, but with the new initiative to make shorter releases for Java, and looking at the features that's coming ahead in Java, uh, Java as a language itself is back in the game. So those are the three reasons, in my opinion, why these are extremely important and, and, and the future for Java is very bright, both as a platform, as an ecosystem, and as a language, thanks to the development in the language, but also the community around it.